Good morning, Simpson Elementary. Welcome to the last day of April, the day before the Kentucky Derby. Now, I'm getting close to retirement. I have five weeks to go. Well, if you count today, that's five Fridays. So, at that point, I think I'll quit doing my videos and let someone else do it. Anyway, today's the Kentucky Derby. They call the Kentucky Derby the Run for the Roses. So this week we did horses, and starting today we're going to do a flower. It's not going to be a rose, but it's going to be a flower, and we're going to paint so if you got paints at home, I would encourage you to get a palette of paint and a brush or two. Here are my paints. If you can see that, it's going to run on my hand. I have a magenta. I have a red and a white and a black. All right. Your colors can be whatever you want. I'm going to use what's called the cool colors or the warm colors, whichever one you want. In this case, the magenta and the red are warm colors. And it adds a little bit of white and uh, the black. The black's gonna be the outline of the flower. So we're gonna put a circle. It'll be a pretty nice size circle here in the middle for the center of, this, of the uh, flower. And there's going to be petals going off the edge. So we're going to make it look like it's very close. Okay, so you can start with a pencil, if you like, just to get it uh, the way you like it before you paint it, okay? And I'm going to do it in marker so, you, so it'll show up. All right. All right, so there's the center of the flower. All right, and now the petals are going to be kind of curved along the edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. All the way out to the edge of the page. Now, the reason why we're doing it off to the edge is to make it look like it's closer to us. Okay, so this is up my first petal. Go up to the top. Looks like a, looks like a propeller, doesn't it? All right. Lie into the side. And we'll go out to this side. It's kind of symmetrical at this point. All right, so now we've got four sections. We're going to have more uh, petals. And then there's going to be a little areas for background. Okay. So notice that these petals are pretty big. So the next ones, I'm going to. I'm going to kind of have to start over here. You see that? Okay. So it's going to be kind of overlapped. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, happy last Friday of April. All right, a few things, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Virtual star testing taking place in the gym today. So, again, that's uh, got a lot of kiddos coming in. So we appreciate that. And then there's that. Mr. Barnum. And, uh, Doing the morning announcements. The, so, for uh, those of you that haven't listened to morning announcements, here they are. The library for our kindergartners come to first grade. So, we'll be meeting in the library if you're participating in those. I believe we start at 8 o'clock. So, be a transition meeting uh, for kindergarten to first grade, uh, special education in the library at 8. And, uh, leadership team, we will not meet today due to uh, some of the things going on. Uh, so, again, leadership team, we will not be meeting today. And,. Uh, also, this afternoon at 3 p.m., your favorite school nurse and mine, Nurse Nikki, we've got her baby shower going on this afternoon at 3. Please stop by, and uh, we want to wish uh, she and Andrew the best uh, with their new little baby on the way. So, again, that's at 3 o'clock in the, in the cafeteria. We'll have some uh, dough cupcakes in there as well. That would be great. So, again, look forward to that. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that uh, is all the announcements. Special ed meeting as well in the library. I think that is 1 o'clock.
productive Friday. Let's make, make the most of our time together. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Well, glad that's over. <laughs> so if you notice, what I'm doing is I'm painting my petals, but I'm not completing my, pan, my, my petals. I'm just going to add red to start. Then I'm going to be adding some magenta and white as well over the top. And uh, in some areas, I'll highlight the petal, make it look like there's light shining off of the petals. Remember, you can always pause the video. All right, pause the video and try to catch up to me. All right. Looking pretty good. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with the red. Now I'm going to put magenta. Now the magenta is going to have a little red in it because I'm going to use the same brush. Notice this. All right. Magenta is looking really good. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that in the center. Now I'm going to add magenta within the red petals. And we will have a little magenta, a little red. Okay. And notice I'm kind of covering up my lines. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over it with white. And uh, then the lines I'll go back over with black. Paint. I'm actually going to paint that. All right. All right. Let's see here. Some of you have some paint at home. You could use watercolor. This is more of a tempera or acrylic. Watercolor, I guess, will work. It won't quite look the same, but just use what you got. If you don't have any of those, remember you can always use crayon and Pastel. We all know what pastels are. They typically call oil pastels or chalk pastels. Uh, I'm not going to recommend chalk because uh, you get chalk all over the house and someone's going to be a little tore up maybe. All right, looking pretty good so far. Notice I've got white in the background. All right, so this is a warm color. These are warm colors, and if I wanted to do a complementary color to it, and I look over here, I would probably put maybe a, a, a greenish color in the background. Always look on the color wheel. The color wheel will tell you what the warm colors are, what the cool colors are, uh, what the complementary colors. Complementary colors are typically on the other side, opposite. Okay, now I didn't I didn't paint that right there because I've got it taped to my black piece. Okay, now let's see what's going to happen if I add. Let me add some white here. Oh, looky there, man. Look pretty good. I'm gonna add a little white to it. Right. Got some highlight to it. 
That's pretty good there. Light isn't going to necessarily shine in one area, right? Yeah, that's looking pretty good from what I can tell. Not too much highlight, just enough to bring out the color. Some in the center, just a little. That's pretty good, isn't it? Now you remember, whatever color you want in the background will be fine. Uh, I'm probably going to come back with a green. I'm, my time is running long, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the outline. <clears throat> and then we'll be I'll be done with this little project. All right, so I'm going to get a, a black. Yeah, let's see here. I've got to go around the. There we go. That's really going to make it pop. Let's see if we can get. Yeah. It's pretty bold. It's like a tire. Uh, but we're going to keep it like that. Now, another thing you do is get little tissue papers and wad them up. You can put them in the middle. Make it look like you've got some seeds. All right, now let's do one petal here. There we go. Let's see if we can get it. And it doesn't have to be a solid black. It can, some of that red could bleed through. All right, how's that look? Lights kind of blue in there now, just a little bit. Yeah. Pretty good. All right, I'm going to do. There we go. So you get the idea that really gonna make that flower pop right out of there. Pretty. Hope you enjoy.